Okay guys, this is just a small little log pile course I made or used from a neighbor. And uh, excuse for the noise of the garbage truck in the background. Yes, I couldn't find a better time to film. Anyway, I'm gonna try and attempt this. The goal is I've gotta get up all this, touch the tree, reverse where I came, and then back down where I started. So here you go. And I excuse for any bad angles, I'm filming and driving at the same time with my phone in my hand. So. I think the tires might be a bit wet. And the damn garbage truck. Friggin' thing is annoying. You might have to fast forward to view this video once I get past this. This is the hardest part of the course, one of the hard parts. I gotta make a better um, bridge to get on up there. I was getting up there before, but the wood is wet from recent rainfall, and the tires aren't that grippy. Oh, this might be it. Nope, it's not. I'll try that again. There we go. And then the rest is easy peasy. Except for this log here. This one I gotta attack it and I'm gonna be right on the edge. And I touch a tree. Now I gotta reverse. I'll go for the other side for this one. Oh, she's right on the freaking edge. One wrong move, and she goes. And just before I get to the end, I'm going to do it once over again. Because that is a tricky part down there. Now, some people might comment and say that, hey, why aren't you rock crawling? Isn't it a rock crawler? Well, this is actually listed as a scale crawler. But the body itself doesn't look like it's scaled off anything by looking at the lights. It does look like a Jeep Rubicon. Or whatever but um I wish I could have done the grills a lot better too and uh, yeah but anyway my next step is I'm gonna take that bumper off and get a new body for it in the future and what I did to it already I removed the stock servo it wasn't turning when it was stopped I'll demonstrate right now with the new one it's a metal geared and it's water Proof. And what I also did is I cut out a cross member. See that first one right there before the shock? There used to be a member that went across. I cut that out uh, and I moved the battery tray further back to allow that servo. It's a bigger servo and it was getting caught on that cross member. And I still got to add some plates to 
push it out more and maybe a new length to steer. But uh, this is almost full travel. Again, it's a garbage truck. Getting garbage at my house. But, see if I can do some flexing with this truck. Look at that. Three wheels. Oh, maybe not. Two wheels. What I like about this truck too, the ECX Barrage Gen 2. It's already comes with pre-locked front and rear diffs, so you cannot unlock them like some of the other models out there today. I think the Traxxas Summit is the only ever one I know of that you can uh, turn on diff lock on and off, and I believe you can turn it on and off between front and rear or both. And uh, this one is four-wheel drive, of course. <laughs> The stock linches, they would be, they are good, but I just wish that the front one here was uh, was bent out in the middle. That way, uh, it wouldn't hit, it wouldn't hit the uh, the um, the middle part of that shaft. I don't know what that part is called. I'm not a mechanic, guys, so just bear with me. But it is very close, and I wish they bent it out. There is a mod that you can do to it, but I wouldn't risk it because you got to get it right, perfect on the bend. And uh, the lights, of course, the che lights are cheap. One, one already has uh, wires put out by mistake. They just came out. But anyway, I'll finish off this video by getting to the end of that tree. I'll go to the other side. You can see right there, full flex. And these are vented tires it comes with. I am thinking about getting better tires as the grip. It's very small. And when it fills up a third, it's useless. And uh, I wish they would use stainless steel uh, lo uh, nuts on there because these ones are rusting because the paint, I don't really like it. But, and full travel on the shocks. It's, all right, just about almost full, but the tire is almost hitting. I push it down like that. You should see that's just about full travel, but the fender flares, they're too big. I, I gotta cut those back, and then it can go full travel. So it's just about full travel, which is what you want on a crawler. All right? Anyway, finish this off. done and I'll back up to finish it which is really easy and uh, there's a video